Okay, so it's midnight. We got a wake up call voluntarily. We put ourselves on that to see the Northern Lights. This is what we can see. There's just a distant haze. But when you change the exposure up, you can start seeing it. What I love is that this is just right behind people's regular houses from the hotel. With views like these, it makes getting out of bed in the early morning just a little bit more worth it. After a few more hours of rest, we had our breakfast and then boarded the bus to explore the south of Iceland. So, we are exploring our first set of waterfalls today. It's not every day that you can have this as a background, except on Zoom when you're pretending to have this as a background. Fight the pranksters. Like here we have door slammer. He would go to your house in the middle of the night and start slamming all the doors. The final one is called Candle Stealer. It comes on the 24th because uh, Iceland celebrates Christmas on the 24th of December at 6 o'clock in the evening. So uh, Obviously, we don't tell children the old stories anymore. <laughs> in fact, the government felt the need of stepping in and the order basically reads to all citizens of Iceland, stop scaring children at Christmas. <laughs> Fortunately, there are no olive gardens in Iceland <laughs> to produce olive oil. Instead, they had to use caught liver oil. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Unprocessed caught liver oil. So, so they smelled really bad. <laughs> and apparently, the smell was so bad that some fishermen would actually get seasick before going out. <laughs> I've gone off to the basement, which no one else has seemed to come down to yet. It's really neat, kind of more like a home setting. And then we have a lot of sculptures. And we have some bookshelves. And, um, skeletons. And, uh, yeah. Maybe this is why nobody else has been down in the basement. I'm going into one of these huts. Oh yes, home sweet home. How um cozy. Oh wow. Six beds. And there we are. Ah, the dining room. Some electricity now. Ah, and the beds.
really neat traveling through this setup of a town here. I'm going the wrong way. That's not good. So you're just walking, right? And then you look in front of you and you see views like this. We were greeted by this rainbow on our journey to the town of Vic. We didn't get to spend too much time in the town. You'll notice the famous red church there, but we did have enough time to stop for a sandwich at the conveniently located bistro. On one side we have towering mountains, and then on the other, very intimidating amounts of water. And we have lights here telling us how far to go. So check this out. This rock formation goes all the way up. And then you see the ocean. Very bright. It's not too cold, but uh, it is hitting the ears, so I've decided to don the new eyewear. It does have a very official looking seal on here, so I think that means I'm a citizen. Okay, so not so fun fact, they have these posted a lot of places about recent deaths by various methods. This one is about staying away from the cliff. So you're not supposed to stand there or there. Who'd have thunk it? That's a cliff. I don't care that there's a chain link fence. We're going to walk away. Here's my thing. I know that these cliffs are roped off, but there's just a certain amount of distance. I'm also not getting close to this either. That's cool though. You don't realize how little there is until you look around and see the public restrooms. But not really for the public. I mean, you have to pay. But you, you're part of the public and you pay. It's an interesting system. Hands down, the best view from a restroom I think I've ever seen. Okay, we've upgraded to the fur coat for the next site. Waterfall two. So the official day of touring was coming to a close, which meant that dinner was up to us. So I ended up going to a restaurant with several other travelers and had a delicious meal. Afterward, we went across the street to one of my favorite stores that has a little bit of everything, including an ice cream store. And partaking in some more Icelandic ice cream is how I ended off day three.